are trying to say is that, yes, people have their human rights, but we as a, 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 a Christians and a Ghanaians and our cultural values and traditions, what the Bible, our culture and tradition frowns on, we can't hide under the cloud that we have put my human rights, so let me go and do that. So we are saying that this bill should be accepted, and if there are some areas we think are too harsh and want to work on it, we are all prepared to come. But one, if these things are sin, we want to prohibit it. We don't want it to come at all. So we pass the bill, and then if there are some challenges with it, why not? We can correct them. But for them to hide under or behind human rights, so if I have your right, and therefore we want to go for arms and go and steal, can you say it's my right? In Ghana, a causing abortion is a crime. So I take seed and I want to abort. Come and say you can't do that. Even taking your life. And we are saying these things are private, so we shouldn't criminalize it. We are saying no. All sins are sins. God, crimes are crimes and sins are sins. So once we prohibit it, then the sanctions and other things could be worked out. Some people are making the claim that there's civilization and modernization. So these things were not open then, but now because of civilization, modernization and democracy, we should have... Yeah, we should it's, it's all because people are trying to take God factor and religion out of the equation. My sister, once you take God out, anything goes. So the so-called civilization is trying to box God outside. And once they take God out, and maybe some of these people behind it are atheists. They don't believe in God. Therefore, we, they package God out. And once they don't have God, the conscience is sealed, and then they can do whatever they want to do. And we don't think in Ghana. But the first, the preamble of our constitution says, in the name of the Almighty God. So 99% subscribe to the uh, thing that there is an Almighty God. And we don't want to box God out. Once God is in the equation, we want to follow uh, ethics and morals. These things are, we are saying is about morality, not right. Morality, where you separate good from evil. It's not good for a woman to let, say, a dog lick her. It's an abomination. We can't let these things come here. For women to slide down, for dogs to lick them, no, we can't do that. For male to, no, no, we don't want to even go there. You see, Bible says, Righteousness exalts the nation, and sin is an abomination. If we want our nation to prosper, let's uphold righteous living. Let's uphold the principles of uh, living rights. Then God will really prosper us. Some of these things are coming, and they are going to, as it were, destroy our nation. But some of us, we the religious people and the Christians and the faith-based organization, we are saying, yes, let's accept this bill. Let's pass into law. And if there are some areas we want to correct, we can correct. And as I so made in my presentation, we, Christians especially, we don't hate them. The God that we serve loves sinners, but he hates their deeds. We don't hate them as persons, but we hate their deeds. People are talking about adultery, fornication. Yes, in the churches we are dealing with it. Come to our church. You fornicate, we'll suspend you. You follow somebody's husband, we, suspend. we are dealing with it. So if we see a homosexual in our church, we'll suspend. Because in the Old Testament, God brought brimstone fire to destroy people. And this is what we are saying. And it, when the Bible prohibits all this, it says that people who do these things will not inherit the kingdom of you. mentioned fornicators, liars, those who steal, and homosexuals. So we do it in the church. And people are saying that, why are we leaving all these things and following the homosexuals? Have you seen people coming up and telling people, do you want to have side chicks association? If we see it, we'll disband it. Fornicators association. We see it, we, we, we disband it. We don't want to rationalize it. Yes, they are evil. So the church and the Christians are there to educate, teach, and to counsel people to come out of this menace. And you say now, allow us to identify ourselves that we are side chickens. We are going out to snatch people's husbands. You say we shouldn't. No, no. We will not let any evil act or people who, as it were, commit some of this and group themselves in, and say that, yes, I give us the penny. If we allow this, you don't know what to follow next. You allow this thing, and then we have side chicks association, we have drunkards association, we have arm robbers association, because they are all evil. And they all have rights. And they all have rights. So, my dear sister, we support this bill 100%. If they invite us to trick some of the areas that are a bit too serious, fine, but the church is seen to, to help. 
in my preamble, Church of Prince West has always supported government. So any good thing will support, but any bad thing too will stand against. Yeah.